Hey, how are you doing? Uh, got some more uh, free templates if you're doing like Facebook Live overlays. Um, I'm pretty much, I put them together in Canva here. So uh, for you to download, which I'll leave the link in the description, but uh, Canva is a really good tool um, to use uh, for, you know, making overlays and editing these, um, these lower third overlays for your Facebook Live that were creating uh, logos, what have you. Uh, but um, I suggest you get um, the pro version of uh, Canva because uh, it's going to allow you to um, download the graphic with a transparent background. So let me just show you a couple of them that I have right here. Uh, the first template I got is this one. Uh, it's pretty cool. It has a bunch of different elements you can use to um, with logos and, and different type of uh, like designs you could put in here. If you have your own, you just upload it to um, and use that too, if you have your own company logo. Um, the second one I have is this one. It's kind of like bold. You could use this one. Again, put your name in bold letters, uh, information um, about you, or it could be about a product or, or even a service. Again, um, you can edit this the way you want to once you um, uh, click the link in the description and. Um, go to Canva, you can edit it and change it the way you want to. If you want to add a logo or change it, add different type of text, you could do that too. Uh, the other one I have is this one. It's a nice little different design here you could use. Um, you could use it as a logo. You could use it as, again, a lower third. Just putting your name in here and, again, your information. So, um, example, I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to click on it, and I'm just going to type my uh, name in here. And you can make this smaller by just going up here and changing um, the, the text uh, size. I'm going to change it to 250 instead of 280. And then I could just type information in here. And then once you have that information in here um, and you got the way you want it, you know, with the text, so you add, again, different elements if you want to do that with the pro um, version of Canva to give you a lot of elements to choose from. Um, as you can see here, you got, like, uh, different logos, characters. So, again, if you want to upload your own logo, you could do that just by going to Uploads here and uploading your logo. But, again, once I have this done, um, I like it. I just go hit a publish and hit download. And then once you hit download, make sure you hit the transparent background. And that's going to allow this black background to disappear. And then I just hit uh, download. And right now, just download it here. And if I want to see it, I can see it real quick. And there you go. Now you don't see the black background. You just see it as a transparent. And I could easily key this over video. So the next step you want to go is you want to go to your camera effects in uh, Frame Studio. And again, you just want to go to the Frames Manager. It's real easy to get to, uh, or you just go to type in Frame Studio and search and go there, and you're going to see an um, uh, option to create uh, frames. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for that, too, if you're not familiar with that. Um, but once you're here, you could just um, open Frame Studio. And right now I'm here in Frame Studio, and you could change your profile picture or Facebook camera. That's what you want. So you want to click Facebook camera. And I want to upload my own art. Ooh. Lower third tent. Okay. I want to go to lower third uh, template here. Click that. And it's going to upload it. And there you go. And you just position the way you want to. And you can see how it's going to look uh, with portrait. And you're going to see how it looks with landscape. And that looks uh, beautiful. You can see. And like I said, you could add, um, if you had a logo, you could add a logo here, you know, different elements, you know, depends how you want to do it. And then once you like it, you know, just hit next. You can name it the way, you know. And then um, 
you can say, okay, location, you want to go everywhere. You can schedule it for different dates. Like if you have different uh, products or services you want to, you know, promote in different times, you can use that. And you can do keywords if you want to. We don't, uh, I really don't use keywords. I just pretty much name it. And pretty much the settings you see here is pretty good. Then hit next. It's going to give you a little preview of how it's going to look. And then you just hit publish. And that's it. Um, I, a lot of people have been saying like they've been submitting it and they don't see it right away. Um, and it says if active and approved. Sometimes it takes a while for it to show up in a Facebook app. So a lot of times I've done frames and I went right to my Facebook app and said, oh, where, where is it? I don't see it. So, but after like uh, some time, it, it usually like pops up in there and you got to look for it. But um, I just give it some time. You might not see it right away. I know you look here and say, oh, it's active and it's approved. But sometimes it takes a little longer for it to get to your to the Facebook app for some reason. I, I don't know why. It's just the way they have it. So it's not instant. So I know I get a lot of people asking me that, like, oh, I, I did this frame, I uploaded it, and I don't see it. So I done that to my, myself, and I uploaded it. And, again, I didn't see it for a while, but then, you know, a few hours later or maybe even the next day, it just popped up there for some reason. So I don't know how the system's really working or how, why it's slow, you know, but... It, it's it is what it is so but um you will see it and again if you don't see it just re-upload it that's the only thing i would suggest so um again that's how you um upload it once you uh, put everything together and it's pretty easy again um i'll leave the link to canva so you can sign up again use the pro version because you're going to be able to do the transparent background um so it's, it's that's going to save you a lot of time and hassle and again, um, I'll leave the links to the three uh, uh, free templates uh, in the description, too, for you to use those in, um, in Canva. And, uh, that, and again, you know, hope all this uh, helps you, you know, with your business and brand. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos, free templates and information. And um, for um, using Facebook Live Overlay. Because there's a lot of things this tool could uh, do. And... You know, people really are sleeping on it. A lot of people are not using it yet, um, but you could do a lot more with it. And you know, just use it for your business. It's gonna you're gonna put yourself um, ahead of the crowd with people using Facebook Live because a lot of people are not even using this. So, all right. So take care.